Hello, in this video I am going to quickly go over the two questions that we did not do at the end of class. This one rationalizing the denominator of 5 divided by the square root of x minus the square root of y. And in order to rationalize this, we need to multiply it by something known as the conjugate. And that's the conjugate of this denominator. So the conjugate of the square root of x minus the square root of y are the same two terms, the square root of x and the square root of y, but now with a plus between them, as opposed to a minus. And we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by that term. Doing this completely takes out the square roots and the denominator. Since the square root of x times the square root of x, we'll just make x minus square root of y times square root of y will just be y. And there'll be no more term from that multiplying those two binomials. Now in the numerator, since we have 5 times this sum now, we will have 5 times the square root of x plus 5 times the square root of y. And that will be the answer for that. Question number 8 was this one. This one to rationalize in the numerator now. 4 plus the square root of x divided by 16 minus x. This one's a little bit different. So again, we're multiplying by the conjugate. So the conjugate of 4 plus the square root of x will be 4 minus the square root of x divided by 16 minus x. Uh, sorry. 4 minus the square root of x, this will be divided by, let me erase this, divided by 4 by, that's the wrong marker, divided by 4 minus the square root of x, and that did not change. Okay. So when we multiply by this now, again we have that conjugate in the numerator, this would be 4 squared, so 16, minus square root of x times square root of x would just be x. Now in the denominator, I am not going to multiply these this time since it will make a mess. We would just have 16 minus x times 4 minus the square root of x. Now we have 16 minus x in both the numerator and the denominator. Those are going to cancel. And this should just make 1 divided by 4 minus the square root of x. And that would be the answer for this particular problem. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns with that. Thank you.